hello everyone so I'm going to show you how you have to fill the video examination application form so guys you have to use uh, Google Chrome that is the first uh, priority you should must use uh, Google Chrome so it will work uh, better way then you are going to type the URL HTTPS colon double slash PR exam dot video dot AC dot in so guys make sure that the website URL what you are entering into the browser you should use with HTTPS don't write www dot use HTTPS colon double slash PR exam dot video dot AC dot in So once the website get opened, so once this website will get opened, you are you are going to see the login screen. So might be you will find some delay in the page load because many users, that means many a student will be attempting to the login. So once this page get appeared, you have to click on UG application exam application form if you are a UG student if you are PG you have to go to the PG the method is the same so what you are going to do you are going to click on UG exam application form so you have to wait till the page get load completed after that once you click on that automatically another page will open and just you have to wait for a few seconds to get load of the complete content of the website so you will be getting two login college and a student so you have to click on a student login so you are going to log in as a student and if you getting this message then just reload or refresh your page so it might be happen so you have to just refresh or reload so again once the page get appeared you are going to enter your username as a your duration number password which you have received from your college so make sure you have got the password from your college don't attempt wrong password don't try to hit and trial method you should must get the password from your respective college so you have to enter the password what you have will we have received from the college so you are going to enter over there the password and once you enter the password you have to click on login so this is the first time method we are doing so this is the first time process so once you click on login the same way might be it will take some time to get loaded the complete uh, website so you have to wait for a few seconds don't be in hurry don't keep uh, refreshing and reload so you have to wait you can see on the down it's uh, on the taskbar it's showing that waiting for PR exam dot video dot AC dot in so you have to wait for uh, few second so just keep uh, watching so you can see that uh, still it is in uh, waiting to load the complete uh, portal so once done you can see the pop-up message logged in successfully you have to click on ok so once you click on ok now another page will appear here so when a new page is getting appeared you have to follow the steps further so you have to wait keep patience then you wait again we are getting this uh, message just click on uh, reload or refresh the page so once you refresh the page 
you will get that the complete page will loaded now you are going to enter your uh, mobile number email id and the password and uh, while filling this make sure that your name is uh, correct and again your issue number is correct so write the correct mobile number and your correct email id and the password what you are going to enter make sure your password length will be minimum 6 letter and maximum uh, 8 letter so it will be between 6 to 8 digits you can say that that is total length of the password will be 6 to 8 you are not going to give the password lower than 6 letters like 5 or you are not going supposed to enter more than 8 so you can see here 6 character so we have entered here more than 6 so that's why this error will appear so you have to correct this password and so both place you have to enter the same password because you have to confirm yes the password what you are entering it is mat matching in the next confirm password also so once you complete this and uh, then you can click on change password so you can see here the password had changed successfully and it will get logged out automatically so you have to wait again the login page will appear for you so you can see here the login page is appeared now you write your usn number and the password the newly entered password what you have entered just now and then after you click on login so once you click on login automatically it will take you to dashboard so you have to wait if uh, still the same way if it is it is waiting so you have to wait for few seconds So it's still in, it's in a waiting so it is the page is getting validated once the page is validated your username and password is masked then it will appear on the next screen that is your dashboard so you can see that logged in successfully click on ok once you click on ok you will get the another page here that is your dashboard so it will take few seconds to get loaded completely so you can see that the page has loaded the dashboard has loaded now so on the right hand side you can see whatever your email id and mobile number and you can size should be 40 kb and you can see the left hand side application is incomplete and your photo is also incomplete so you have to select your passport size photographs don't attach your selfie photo or something like that you use a uh, standard passport size photograph that is color photographs and once you choose automatically the photo will be visible here and it will show you that photo uploaded and it will be can change into the green color you can see that if you are getting certain error vtu 100 vtu 101 so you have to report accordingly the next you have to click on the application forms the moment you click on the application form this page will appear please verify your name college name semester and a scheme then after whatever the subject you are going to appear that subject will be visible here so you just check it out uh, your subject code and subject name and if you have any elective paper then you can select the elective subject accordingly and if you have any area paper backlog paper that also it will be there so whichever exam you want to appear for backlog you have to select accordingly so this is for uh, fresh uh, 
fresh student that means no backlog and uh, you can see that there was the user manual so once you click on the user manual the page will appear here and you can see there is the document has given on the portal so you can read this entire document before proceeding if you have any query how to fill the application form so don't be in hurry just log into the portal see the user manual go through the user manual read step by step what is the process you have to do what photographs you are going to upload and what are the details you are going to enter over there so mostly you are not going to enter anything here because everything is filled here the your fees whatever the backlog and number of subject you are going to write the exam accordingly it will show the exam application fees also so just go through this manual manual and uh, please read carefully again i repeat don't be in hurry please read it once carefully then you proceed you can see here if a student does not want to write area semester same can be unchecked so if whichever your area you don't want to appear then you can uncheck that so you are not going to write the particular exam once you finished you have to click on submit so similarly you can see the this the student application form you can see that whatever the subject they have so all the subject if elective elective subject will be there if any backlog or areas is there that also it will be displayed over there if you don't want you can uncheck from there and then you can see that even if you are in a btech which cycle for first year student so physics and chemistry cycle so you have the option here to change the cycle please uh, watch carefully you have to change the cycle then only your subject will appear accordingly on the exam application form so then after you can click on submit and if guys remember one thing uh, once you upload all the document and your photograph that means your photographs and it will convert into green color and uh, you can edit this application for multiple times before final submission remember guys this you can edit that means you can verify your application multiple times as many times you want you can verify it so if anything is pending you have to update make sure you have updated please go through carefully and then do it so once you done it that means you complete the application form then you have to click on finalize application that means you have to click on final application so once you clicked on finalize application this will not get change remember guys once you click finalize the application you are going to get the pop up it will ask you application cannot be edited after submission it's from approval from your side you have to click okay photo cannot be changed after final submission okay and again do you want to finalize application okay once you do this you are not able to edit any photographs or any data you are not going to change so before doing anything please verify before finalize and once you finalize you can see that application finalized for change has been submitted and it will be pending for approval from the college that means your application is submitted and you can view your application forms just click on again application form the application form will be open you just press control p take the print out and take the take a print out and sign uh, put a signature and this will be your considered as a hall ticket for your 
examination so guys once again i will repeat with the this process we can see here uh, we have come to this page and we have added all the mm, subject whichever we have so if we have elective paper i'll be selecting the elective subject and after selecting i have to click on submit so you have to click ok because you are submitting once you submit you can see that application is completed photo uploaded but we have not finalized the application once you click finalize application you can see there uh, you will be having option finalize application click on that it will ask you with the pop-up okay okay and okay so once you do okay three times that means your application has been submitted successfully and now you cannot modify any subject okay you cannot change your photo also so and now this will be pending from college approval so if any error is there you can see the error code has mentioned if anything error is you are getting please contact your college and you can see that we have to press as i mentioned you have to press ctrl plus p button from your keyboard you will get a print screen you can see that in the day you have to select as a save as pdf write whatever the file name you want to give because it is going to save into the dot pdf format and click on save so it will be saved on your local system thank you for watching thank you